welcome back. The game asks if I'm ready to get radical. I might be ready for a ridiculous level here, but we will have to see. So, it turns out that I've already done Chaos Score in the last level. Yeah, for some reason it did not appear before. But Electric Endeavor is going to be a new level, so let's go straight to that one, and we'll have more levels coming soon. Maybe this one is going to be a ridiculous level. Ridiculous in terms of Kaizo difficulty and everything. But again, we will have to see. <laughs> the fun colors there. Let's go back to the goat suit. All this color, might as well go ahead and combat it with the some black and white like this. Okay, so you say we can... Can we pierce? No, not like that, and... Not like this, either. So, not bother, let you live. You don't actually hurt me anyway. Every time you run, every time you bump into me, apparently you do zero damage. It's kind of weird. But, at least helpful it remains at zero. Okay. Time to go with the shinobi now. Let's see if we have anything there. I guess that answer is no. Well, keep Shinobi around anyway, because I'm probably not going to use the GOAT power-up, and again, Shinobi is even more black and white than this, compared to this colorful level, and compared to the GOAT suit. So, this might be the best suit to go with here. Yeah, even though I like my color, and actually I'd rather side with the enemy here because of all this color. But, maybe I've said too much. Let's go ahead and try and defend Kinzo here. Try to defeat the boss. It says something about this electric endeavor. Gonna have another fight soon. Maybe in one of the coming soon levels. I can only speculate. Well, let's keep shooting. Don't think we had. <clears throat> Don't remember if we had any, any enemies compared to the Chaos Core, like the ones that have those puffy clouds, those toxic ones. Okay, let's jump. That's night. Uh, wait. What happened? Wait. Yeah, what did happen there? It's because I was going quickly, because I had the, the speed power enabled, I was only able to do one damage? That was really weird. And that just does not seem right. It's like you should be doing more damage if you can move quickly. Now, I can't really demonstrate it on that, because no matter what I do, shooting is going to do zero damage, and you gotta jump. Still no more powerful with the jumps than I was before, but now well, it's jumping, and I only have to worry about sideways it. Okay. Now I'm actually doing damage. Hmm. Couldn't be bothered to think about it before when I saw those zeros. I think I'm just going around now. But it'll have more fun, just to make sure that all this color can turn into black and white, for Shinobi's sake. Hmm. Oh, stop letting go. <laughs> there, there. Now we can move on. Jump again. Where was the pitfall? Gotta be more careful when going down, especially when I have the Shinobi, when I can hug the walls and when I can easily go back up. Satisfying to finally be able to shoot those enemies again. To the top. I was thinking when I tried the Chaos Core, but then realized it was all pretty much the same level I already done. If there was going to be any energy or health or attack power, maybe it would make sense that there isn't any. Just for the challenge. Make sure you found what you could before, and then try to face a Kaizo type level. Let's jump. Yeah, again. Even regular jumps are just doing one damage while I've got the speed enabled. That's, that doesn't make any sense either. Uh, whatever. Let's shoot. Or, I mean, let's jump. Let's shoot ourselves over to the other side. Except let's not really do that either, even though we have the opportunity to do so. Oh, moving sideways now. Just to try and take me on. And you actually did it. Oh. Ooh, wow. Bring it from the side. Maybe Kaizo's gonna kick in soon. 
we go. That bolt's done done for. Yeah. Bolt itself's definitely gone, so they're hitting me. Is my enemy done for? That might happen soon. Okay. Don't think I'm safe there. I'll just leave you for dead. Disappear like that cloud you are. Well, you were in a cloudy level, so even if you're not actually a cloud, we'll still pretend that you are. Just to try and make ourselves feel good again. Another way to try and make ourselves feel good is if we have anything down there. Did scroll down a little bit, but don't know if I should take chances. Nope. Now I'm all the way back here. You're still not gonna stand in my way. We're finally gonna move on. Alright. Slight change of color here. Now we're going to the yellow. Maybe that's a sign of a long level here. Well, it is an extra level anyway, and the Chaos Core was itself kind of long. Now it looks like it's time. Finally. Still wondering when I'm actually going to need to switch between two power-ups in mid-air. Or suits in mid-air. That's still not gonna happen. I don't know if it's gonna be that mean. Been pretty nice in terms of the enemies that are present. Like, haven't had to worry about any of that smoke now. And when I say that you were nice, now suddenly we have this. But at least these ones don't shoot at me. So that's good. And I can jump on this one. Plenty of power. There's our need to mix the two. Okay. And it works wonders. Now, if only the jumping worked wonders. Well, let's just keep going up. Switch again. Very quickly, though. We don't have a lot of time. Ooh. Thanks for the health. Could give me more health, though. Shinobi's gonna need it. Oh. oh. Stay back. Stay back. Only go when you know you're safe. There. Love these one-hit kills. So I can defeat the enemy with one hit. If I'm the one killed with one hit, then it's not so great. Oh. Now we're switching to the space level. So, I guess it's going to be a mix of every level? Maybe it is going to be a really long one after all. Okay. So, down. So it's space-like, and yet there are no pitfalls here. I think there'd be a lot more pitfalls. I guess since we're not actually in space, uh, hit twice before I even hit the ground. Nice. Okay, well, let's just jump again. At least that one's only one hit. Oh. Stay up there. I need to go. There. Yep! <laughs> just that. We go from the space to the wind. Didn't notice at first, but now I do. Makes me wonder about all that color in the very first one. Maybe it's just because nature is very colorful. Caves, not so much. The sky. Yeah, sort of. Explain having some blue. The next one, my guess is that it's going to be red. And this could have been the color of magma core as well. Orange like this. Oh. Bounce again. Slightly more powerful ones. Sometimes it's hard to tell again. If they're going to be the ones that just wake up, or if they're the ones that jump, or if they're going to be the toxic ones. Well, we uh, hate all this wind. Maybe I should just switch to the double jump like this. And see how powerful it really is. Again, I don't actually need to be in the real desert. I can just do it here. Arps very handy here. Now we actually have the Magma Madness. Is this where we're gonna have a blue screen of death, though? I still suspect a blue screen of death somewhere. If we take the wrong path, that is. Time to switch again. But 
Which one should I go with? Mm, actually, no, let's not switch. Let's stick with this one. Double jump still comes in handy. Especially when we're at risk of getting attacked like that. But stay back, as usual. Make sure everything is gone before you move. And give yourself the extra time with that double jump. Switch again. Up we go. Hmm. Gotta recall the shape. Uh, the shape of what he shovel was like before. Because... Nah. It, it can't be like that, because I was able to get up without the Shinobi in Magma Madness. And it makes me wonder what the color of the screen after this is going to be like. Maybe that's when the toxic enemies are going to appear. Maybe that last segment is going to be really, really long. <laughs> Possibly even longer than the rest of these put together, but that might be stretching it. Stretching it too long. We still have the enemies, anyway. We still have all that purple. Keep shooting. Keep shooting. Make sure that everything is gone. Again, the temptation to skip everything. But no, I won't do that. Unless, of course, the toxic stuff becomes that much trouble. Keep moving. Shoot from behind. A level like this, I think you have the right to shoot from behind. Mm. Maybe not. You're in the enemy's territory. And now we are going to skip everything. We can just barely reach on that side, and then we can jump here. So, I'm gonna go back, because after all this, I'm not gonna want to jump on my enemies now. Yeah, still can't make up my mind. <sighs> but then again, I guess this electric endeavor will be over with soon. You don't have to worry anymore. Then you make sure the color is actually good. Now you want this to become black and white and make sure the rest of the world is all colorful, all healthy and everything. Ow. Oh. Skip everything again. Just to make up. And get hurt. Perhaps we should just get get past some toxic enemies with some toxic habits like just skipping the level like this, going upwards with this suit. I think that's only fair. My enemy secretly knows that it's fair, just tries to lie about it for his own benefits. Okay. There we go. At least we'll let you all live. Um, I... Okay. You are... Is this the way I think it's going to say? You are super... You are super hunter. <laughs> nice one. And... Wow. Super... Well, super player. I don't know so much about the hunting in that last screen because I was skipping everything. Letting, letting enemies live. At least super player, we could say. So... I guess that's all for now. We'll have to wait for coming soon. Part of me hopes that it's going to be soon.